to our website design tutorials how to use WordPress backend. First thing we have to do is log into our backend. Screen you will see after logging in is a dashboard. Dashboard contains most recent actions on your website and some statistics. At the very first you can see how many posts, pages and comments are on your website, what version of WordPress you are running and what team you are running. You can create quick draft. You can see recently published articles, comments, and WordPress news. On the left hand side, under the dashboard, you can see updates. If you click on it, you will see if your WordPress plugins, themes, translations, or WordPress itself needs to have an update. You can check again anytime you want. Reinstall, download new version of WordPress, or hide this update. If you want to add a blog post, simply click at the post, click at Add New. Enter new post title, enter the content for the blog post, further on the right hand side you can pick the category, format, I just put standard for now. You can add tag. And set up a feature image. Once you are done, you can save it as a draft or publish it to the website. You can click at view post to see the blog post on your page. As you can see, feature image, title, content, and some meta description. You can also edit existing post or delete. In order to do that, click at the post, pick post you would like to edit. You can edit, and you can simply add some new content to it. After all, click on update, and your blog post has been updated. If you would like to delete the new blog post, you can simply trash it. Adding new media. In order to add new media, click at media in the left hand side menu select the image pdf or any other type of file you would like to upload drag and drop it into the box once image finish uploads you will see a thumbnail From this page, you can do various edits to the image. If you click in the left bottom corner on Edit Image, you will be redirected to a new page with page editing software originally attached to the WordPress. If you would like to crop the image, just simply select the area you would like to crop and click on the bottom here. You can rotate the image, flip vertically, flip horizontally, and undo your changes. On the right hand side, you can scale the image width by height. So let's say I want to have a 600 pixels wide, 
and, and automatically 231 pixel height is attached. Click on scale, cancel, and your image has been scaled to 600 right. In order to create a new page on your website, please go to the pages and add new. Give a title of your page, for example, here you can add some content. And click on publish. Next step, in order to add your page to WordPress, you have to add it to the menu. In order to add it to the menu, please click on Appearance, Menus, select the new page from the drop down on the left hand side, and click on the Add to Menu button. You will see that new menu item has appeared here. You can reorder this by simply drag and drop. Once you are done, click on the save menu on the right hand side A new menu item with page should be added to your WordPress block Let's check it As you can see here, this is title If you want to add a new user, simply on the left hand side, click on the users, select add new, enter their username, email address, first name, and last name. Optionally, you can enter their website and the password will be generated automatically and it will be sent to the user via email. You can see the password here. Alternatively, you can edit this. Make sure that password is strong. The last thing we have to set up for the user is the role on the website. If you click on the drop down, you will see different roles. Select the role for the user which is suitable and add new user to the website. That's it on the beginner tutorial on how to use WordPress by Ireland's website.